When you open up iMovie, you might see a past project. So click up here on projects to start a new one, and we're creating a new movie. Now I want to import my images that I downloaded before. So to do that, I go to File, Import, Media. Now you could also drag them onto the screen. Then I go to my Downloads folder. Here's the image. But before I press Import Selected, I like to create a new event, which you might remember when we talked about it in Final Cut Pro. So I go to New Event. It creates it today's date. Press OK and then press Import Selected. By creating a new event, it keeps the images separate from other projects. Now I can just drag down the images that I want. Each It's hard to tell how long each one is. This one is four or five seconds. So to check your preferences, go up to iMovie Preferences, and my photo duration is five seconds. I like to come over here to the settings and zoom down a little bit so I can see all my images and I often zoom in or out based on what I'm working on. So each of these, if I press play, each of these would be five seconds each with no transition between them. To make changes to them, you can also crop and cut them here. So I'm going to click on the balloon, come up here to the crop option and we can crop to fit or can burn. So if I go to crop to fit, I can take anything that's that same shape, maybe I want the balloons to be much bigger, and then press the checkbox. So now that's the image. I'm going to edit undo. Or I could try Ken Burns. So to do the Ken Burns effect, which is zooming in or zooming out, I can do start my, change my start and end points here, and then press reset and then this flips it the other way. Press the checkbox, and now we'll see it zoom in over that time. If you want it to take longer, just make your image longer, and it'll take longer to get there. To do text or titles, click on the Titles tab up here, and then you can put them either as on top of, or we might call it like a lower thirds, but it's on top of your image, can click over here where the text is, retype it, change the font, change the color, and so on. You can also drag text in front of all the clips and that will put it over black. If you needed a title or you could put it in the middle somewhere as like a transition or, or like a card with full text on it. If you wanted not black but some sort of texture, you can come to backgrounds grab a texture that might look good. You have to do that first. Then you can go back to the titles and put your titles on top of that texture. So again, you can play around with that. I'll talk about some more options in the next video.